Kei taku ui Māori, he tani whā e huna ana i tana rua. He tani whā e huna ana ki wāinga nui a tātou. E Christopher Luxton, ko wai rā koe te kōrero. E hara koe i taku māma, e hara koe i taku pāma. Kawa whai tō nui mā hatau! Ake, ake, ake! Standing here with India as my whenua and Aotearoa as my whānau, I am inspired once more to be worthy of the land that has embraced me and my people. In India, we learn early that loyalty to one's land means loyalty to all its people. It means standing with those whose rights are diminished. The collaborations between governance, citizens, enterprise and Māori can work harmoniously. It really... <laughs> father's inheritance, but were never actually present to take care of him when he was sick. Are you just picking up what I'm putting down? If that analogy landed, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> First, we would honour the treaty, the Tangata Tiriti and Tangata Māori partnership. We would then foster mutual respect and cultural awareness in consideration of the treaty. Subsequent to that, as a nationwide mandated expectation to nurture mental health and happiness for all citizens in Aotearoa. A holistic approach. But 
In order to continue a holistic way forward of governance, we need to address the root causes of extensive issues within Aotearoa, which is partnership, te tiriti o waitangi. By definition, we shall practice kotaitanga, or unity. Now, to truly honour the treaty, we have to recognise the two groups of people on Aotearoa, tangata tiriti and tangata Māori, treaty partners. But the fact that the treaty is currently not being honoured, unwittingly, makes our government void of being our government as per the contract. Well, that's just being negative. I'm over negative, aren't you all too? Yay! Let's be solution focused. Tangata Tiriti means every other ethnic group who resides in Aotearoa under the government who has been appointed by the Treaty of Waitangi. Coexisting as partners with Māori or working together for a better Aotearoa but ensuring that we maintain a Māori forefront, for this is our indigenous country. The collaborations between governance, citizens, enterprise and Māori can work harmoniously. It really can. We only have to respect each other's values, because in the absence of respect, we will prosper. At Iwi, my great-grandfather, Kanan Witi Tauhuata, writes in one of his karakia, this translates to, if you are ever feeling dysfunctional, pay attention to your physical, mental and spiritual health. In a Māori perspective, true health is knowing these parts of oneself. Knowing where you are from and who you descend from. Knowing your place in this world and knowing who you are isn't just your heritage. It isn't just your upbringing, it's unquestionably the choices you make in life. So in this hikoi, make great choices. This isn't just any hikoi, it's a fight. Not a physical one, a mental fight. When we hear the words ringing through our protest, stand strong and use their strength for your mind. When, when this government tries to alien, al alienate us with the government's nonsense, continue to stand strong. When this government tries to push past us, continue to unite. When they take funding away, speak your mother tongue. It's iwi. In the wise words of Uncle Bob, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Not either. Tena koto, tena koto, tena na koto. Kakua! Kafete tonu ma tu! Kafete tonu ma tu! What we are going to do right now, we are going to hand it over to one of our rangatira, uh, Ngahiwi Tumona. Then we'll we be giving it over to uh, Tatere. Hikoi! Hikoi! Tino rangatira tanga! Tino rangatira tanga! Mana motu hake! Mana motu hake! Te tiriti o waitangi! Te tiriti o waitangi! Tūranga wai wai! He koi mo te tiriti, he koi mo te tiriti, he koi mo te tangata, he koi mo te tangata, he koi mo te
today we take a stand for what is right for what is right what is right we face a fierce battle against a well-resourced machine of propaganda a machine intent on flooding this nation with lies to create fear and sever us from our identity as our as a people returning the power to the colonial master this hiko is much more than this stupid dumb Waste of time treaty principles bill. It's a mass mobilization. It is the greatest activation that some of us here today will see in our lifetime. We stand for our rights, we stand for our identity, and we stand for the founding document of our country. Today we tell our children to chant, to march with heads held high. We fight for truth and justice, rare commodities in today's world. We seek not disruption, but restoration. Not conflict, but the fulfillment of what was guaranteed in 1840. Yes. This bill, this stupid, dumb, no mo time a bakakahua bill, it threatens to undermine the foundations of that document that created this nation. Those consequences could be irreversible. But it's the six months of rhetoric that our country is going to face. The democracy of this country is going to turn people against us, say that we're the perpetrators of hate. We are the haters. We're not, never have been, never will be. This is no easy path. This will be long and arduous. Nothing easy is worthwhile, people. The struggle for justice has been long, but in time, truth will prevail. We might never match the resources or the wealth that those clinging to power have. We might not have the money to buy a page on the front of the New Zealand Herald. They're attempting to erase our existence. Sugarcoat it all you like. They're attempting to erase our existence. And they will do it by spreading fear to people saying, we are getting special rights. O ra to tero hamuti. They could never match the unity and the passion that we saw on our streets today. They wish they had our values. They wish they had our tikanga. They couldn't pull off a hikoi. Why? Because they hide behind fake Facebook profiles. They are cowards. But we are here. We don't care. We speak the truth. This is one of the most okay, people. So may we be unwavering. May we be resolute. May we show our children how important it is to stand up against the colonial oppression disguised as a fight for democratic equality. Tino Rana Tiratanga for all. History has shown us we are far from true equality. May we instill the hope in our children's hearts. May they see that in time, things will get right. But it's gonna take some time, some courage, some patience. And I see Sharon Campbell here from Whakatoa here that said, you wanna protest, be prepared to get arrested. <laughs> As the great Moana Jackson once said, our mere existence is an act of resistance. Ka pūrāko tia tēnei hikoi, ko te tīmatanga noiho tēnei e te ao. Nā te kauguru, do we stand alongside the nation? Do we stand in the unwavering pursuit of justice? We know well the side of history we wish to stand on. We know what type of tipuna we want to be. We understand, do we understand, that the standard we walk past is indeed the standard we accept.